Hey guys and welcome again to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas. Uh, in this video I will show you how to install a ROX uh, front fender riser on a Honda Africa Twin. Uh, that's a pretty simple process. Uh, I already took off uh, the front fender so that's pretty straightforward. Anybody can do that I think. But, uh, I will show you with the close-up uh, how to properly install that uh, front fender riser. So let's not waste any more time and get into it. At the same time if you're new here and you did not subscribe now it's the time to hit that subscribe button bottom right corner this way you'll stay updated every time I release new videos if you like the video as always hit the like button if you don't like the video hit the like button twice so the kit that it comes with it's uh, pretty simple you got four little extensions there is one longer that one goes in the front and then there is the shorter that goes in the back and then you got just a few bolts used because you're still going to be reusing your uh, OEM bolts you also need a couple tie ups to finish that up if you look at it one side is tapered so there's left and right so don't get that mixed up uh, so this is the left side and the tapered side goes towards the front and that goes right there and then you're gonna use the supplied screws and they'll go in the OEM location the back so you'll see that it is also tapered here and on this one that little groove goes towards the back so once you put it like this that slides on top of the original mounting point and again we're gonna use a screw to secure that there's a little bit of movement in there I might not tighten it all the way until I get the fender on here back on and another thing what you want to do whatever you do you don't want to pinch this cable that's your uh, speed sensor the manufacturer says you have to push those up by about an inch there's two of those little bushings that go into a clip retainer and you have to move them up about an inch uh, as per manufacturer the best way to do it it's using Dawn dish soap and what I'll do I just put a little bit of this soap in there and same on top and let it sit for a little bit so it soaks into the bushing and what I want to do is like just squeeze this out a little bit but be careful because that cable is fragile and uh, you want to loosen up that original uh, glue or whatever they used uh, to hold that in place once you do that you can just hold it with one hand and push it with the other whatever you do don't bend that cable to a 90 degree you don't want to do that so basically just pull it up a little bit slowly and good idea to push it from the bottom I noticed that works pretty well so you just push it up gently first that loosens up the whole um, bushing and it's gonna start moving as you see it does move same thing with the other one the other one you'll see it's identical to this one so I'm not gonna get my camera up close there either but there's no point because it's the same bushing so you just, once you have this up uh, you'll be good to go and uh, we'll get back to uh, the other side and the other side is the same so I'm not gonna film that so basically again you're gonna remember that the tapered part has to face to the front and the other tapered side on the back one has to face towards the back you see there's also the brake line bushings uh, those they have to come off I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see that I'm gonna try to make my best uh, to focus on this part they are kind of cut on the bottom so you can gently peel them off and uh, take them out of here so at this point we will fit the fender bucket in its location So you want to make sure that there's a little bit of slack on those lines that they're not super tight and be careful not to pinch anything when you are reassembling it together if you forget about the, where that comes from so that goes from the back here
those bolts are about 15 pounds of torque so I usually do those just to hand tighten I wouldn't stress I make sure that cable is has it's loose in there that it's not pinched anywhere and that's pretty much it the other side goes the same way uh, nothing to it really and now I just gonna do the top part uh, tie up those uh, retainers here is adding the tie up so what I did I got one here and since I removed everything from those grommets I just kept that center uh, hose that goes around between both calipers I put that on the grommet um, I'm gonna use another tie up to hold all that stuff together right in here so that should do the trick uh, so this way it, nothing is gonna get uh, damaged so this is how it is completed as you see I have used two different tie ups in this area right there and two tie ups to hold it to the original uh, retainer that was there but I removed those uh, rubber grommets out of there otherwise it would be too tight so as you see the spacing is quite big here now um, you don't need the big uh, fender extension it's the rocks one it just does the job and uh, you got enough clearance so the mud won't get stuck in there at all pretty much there's not a chance uh, we get mud in there now so I'll go over slowly here and I'll show you in the back as well so the AT is finished uh, new tires I just put installed today and also that uh, front fender risers from rocks and uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the uh, end result and again if you like the video make sure to give me a thumbs up and always comment down below if you don't like the video with the thumbs up twice make sure to subscribe to stay updated on future updates and my videos that's coming weekly thank you for watching cheers till next time